Hello there. This video is meant to be a short tutorial on how to get text messages from Twitter sent to your phone. Now, if you already have a phone, such as an iPhone or Blackberry that has internet access, you can of course download any number of free applications to use Twitter on your phone. However, if you do not have internet on your phone, or, or you just prefer to get text message updates sent instead, which they're simpler and there's much less to do, you can um, go ahead and use the steps in this tutorial. Now the first step is making sure that you have your username and password from twitter.com. Now if you do not already have a username and password, it's pretty simple. Click on the green sign up now button and it takes you through step by step. Once you have a username and password, you can go ahead and log in. And from here, you'll see your home page and your Twitter feed, which has the information from people that you're following. Now, in order to get text messages sent to your phone from Twitter, you're going to have to go to the settings option in the upper right. And from there, you're going to click mobile. Now you can see that I already have my cell phone set to receive text message updates. Now if you do not have this set up already, you will see directions that tell you to send a text starting text message to 40404. From there, it'll take you through the steps of setting up. Twitter will then ask for your username, and then it'll ask for your password, and then it'll ask to confirm. Just follow the directions, it's pretty simple. And once you do that, you should be able to come back, refresh this page, and you'll see these options. Now, the first option is device updates on, off, or just for direct messages. Now for the purpose of getting a text message from a Twitter accounts when someone updates their page, you'll want to make sure devices are on. Now this is a nice little option, it's the sleep option. You know, you don't want, if, if one of your friends is out, you know, out late at night and sends up messages, you don't want to get them, per se. And so you can turn off the updates between any time of the day or even when you're at work, which is, good to, which is good to do. Now, of course, at any time, if you want to change text messages, um, you want to change the number, the cell phone number that the text messages are sent to, you just click the Delete and Start Over button here, and it takes you through the process. Now, once you have your cell phone set up for this, you're going to have to make sure you're following the people you want, and you have to turn on text messages for those profiles. You do it individually, so just because you have your cell phone num number entered here doesn't mean you're going to automatically send any text, automatically get any text updates. Now, for the tents and purposes, we want to take a look at the AAA Blue Jackets 9017, which is 3A Blue Jackets 97. Now, to get text message updates from this account, you're going to first have to make sure that you are following the Blue Jackets. If you already are, you'll see the green check mark and the following. And then after that, right to the right of that, you'll see this um, little, looks like a little cell phone. And if you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you updates are not sent to your mobile phone. If you click that, it'll, it'll turn green and then send updates are sent by SMS, simple messaging service, to your mobile phone. And that's it. And so the next time that someone over here at 3A Blue Jackets 97 updates it, you're going to get that sent to your phone. And it's just as simple as that. Now, of course, if you want to stop this service, you can either go to your settings in mobile and delete your cell phone, or it's simpler just to click that green cell phone right there, and it turns them off. And it's just as simple as that. Of course, if you have any questions, you can ask your team social media coordinator.